Yeah, I, uh, I'm 33, you know, grew up in the 80s and 90s, but kind of feel like I grew up in the 50s in a way because of the music my dad played me. He played me his favorite albums, you know, lots of Elvis and Johnny Horton and Johnny Cash, Willie, Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings and Kenny Rogers. And I fell in love with the album experience, you know. I think human beings like to watch three minute YouTube videos, they like to watch 15 minute cartoons, they like to watch 30 minute TV shows, they like to watch two hour movies. People like to consume music, I think, differently too. And people like to have a couple hot singles to put in their ears on their way to work to get jacked up. And sometimes it's nice to put an album on, something you can just hit play on, that has a feeling, that has some memories for you, that takes you someplace, and just let it go, you know? And I'm one of those people. So I don't think the album will ever be dead until artists stop making albums. So that was definitely our aim, but I think growing up, and listening to that music and watching Elvis on the 68 comeback special, or I just loved music. You know, I loved it so much I had to start playing it, if that shows you in any way how much it, it means to me. But I'm always, I think because of that, and the way I grew up and loving that kind of stuff, I, I took to the style, I took to the way they record, I took to the instruments, I took to the artists, I took to all that stuff, and it stayed with me, you know.